What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Melantic Gaming here from Row Squad. As you can actually see, I'm in a flat Minecraft world. We need to go into the inventory where we are in the latest version. But we're doing the ultimate car mod. First of all, we need to create a biodiesel plant. So we need to grab our oil mill, a blast furnace, a back mix reactor, a generator, a split tank, and some canola. And something that is easy to get. We need some logs. Oh yeah, and I think we're good. We well the power to generator. Getting this system all set up, we just place down some oil mills. Some blast furnaces, some back mix reactors, generators, a fluid pipe, We connect up these pipes for these back mix reactors. Put canola in the oil mill. Middle click. The canola off to the side. Prep the blast furnaces. And now you can have as many blast furnaces as you want. It doesn't even matter. Then we need some cable and some fluid extractors. These can go to a back, a split tank. Split tank. After that, we add another row. Split tanks don't require power, they only require time. And then we grab out a tank. And boom, that's an official plant. Now we need a power to plant. So. Place down your cables. Connect them together. Connecting them up to the generators. to grab a fluid extractor there we go and that's how you can get it to work play and that should work to get the generators going which look at that it's getting the uh, oil mill going and the generators do have at least a good amount of stored fuel
And then just, it's gonna create some oil from canola. We get canola cakes, which can be given to farm animals. Oh yeah, and I forgot something. We need... Puts of fluid extractors. That's how you make it work. After that, we get the back mix plants going, thus giving us canola methanol mix. And then that becomes biodiesel. There's glycerin and then there's biodiesel. You know what? Just to show you, I'll disconnect the tank. It does take forever, so be aware of that. That's why you can actually really expand the plant. But there's biodiesel and glycerin. And now it goes into the tank as the biodiesel. Then we can cycle it. Boom, and it goes right into the generator. So it's basically just a loop. And you know what? After that, if you want to disconnect the generators, you do this, and then you get out your fuel station. If I clear inventory, um, we we'll get the fuel. I just seen it. It's the gas station. Boom, there we go. A gas station. And now we need something to use the gas station. If I disconnect the generator from the gas station, we should start to get. But you know, I'm gonna somewhat like handicap it. This is only for creative, but I'm doing a video review. This works. Why doesn't it think that this is a tank? Just for the sake of it. Alright, that should be enough fuel to be able to last us. Going into the gas station is fuel. This is what is stored in the station itself. So it has its own fuel tank. And as the biodiesel plant goes, it will keep going and filling. Now as that is loading up, we need to get car workshop. Car workshop, and then that's a car workshop. So, um, now all what we need to do is slash clear. Now we gotta go to car parts. Three cylinder engine takes up the most fuel. Six cylinder engine is more efficient, and then there's a truck engine, which is good for the transporter. The three cylinder engine is for like a slower car, as a six cylinder engine is for a faster car. So, grabbing a six cylinder engine, 
Then there's regular bodies, big bodies, transporter bodies, and SUV bodies. And there's sports car. And you know what? Is truck engines are really big. I've always wondered what happens if you put a truck engine in a sports car. So you know what? We're gonna do a line sports car. Medium tank. These are only for wooden vehicles. Not the license plate things. The license plate things are believed to go on any vehicle. I haven't made it work yet. Four wheels. Then we just go into the car workshop. You can place it in any slot. It doesn't matter. So like I can place the tank right above the car. Make a little smiley and then do a little check mark. Not repair car, you press spawn car. And that's our car. It sounds like a truck. But at the speed we go, you just hold R until it starts. No sound effects are played in the background because I know nothing about editing. Vehicles only come with like 10% of fuel. There we go. And then there is the crash bar or crash barrier. Cars do shut off. This is just a truck engine sound. You press I to see the dan to see like every other thing. Now there is if you actually drive it right through lava to so get like a ginormous like hump of lava. Now, if we just floor it, going into the ice section, as you see, it got damaged more. And now, when the vehicle is damaged, or when the battery's low, it'll take forever to start. But to push it, you just hold shift, and you press W. Yes, you can actually repair the cars. If I go into the car section, there is asphalt slope. That's going to be the only way we're going to get the car up. And now I have to show you one other thing. So what happens when the battery goes dead? Let's get the battery dead.
What's our battery percentage? It's at 25. <laughs> After that, as the battery is at zero, then the truck or a car, I should say, I'm pressing R. I have a mechanical keyboard, but me pressing R, it's not starting. So the way to if, if we repair it. We would need a, a wrench, a screwdriver, and a hammer. Shift and click on all the tools, put them in that slot, and then... You just keep pressing the button until it's done. I believe in survival, the tools do degrade, but as I'm in creative, it's not what happens. But if the battery's still dead, the vehicle won't start. But if you're asking me how to fix it, grab a battery, go into I, and there we go. That gives us 50% battery. And that's a dead battery. Now, if we press R. <laughs> See our biodiesel plants doing amazing. What are these generators happening on? I think the fuel station is. It has been filling up a little bit. Now, there's no initial way of how to break the car that I know about, so... The fastest way to break a car... Is to, um... Break a hole of death into the ground, and then... Shift, and push! There we go. Now let's try to build another car. All cars do have the same exact like features in it, but we're gonna try a six cylinder engine. You know what? Let's do a crimson wood body, four wheels. small little tank because of why not boom 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 and spawn car if we press R the starting sound up We adjust the desktop audio so then you can. That's the startup sound. It does. Your XP bar shows how much fuel you have. Damage the car up a little bit.
just keep driving until your XP bar runs out of fuel. Going into the eye menu, we have no fuel, so the car could be as repaired as possible. Now, let's say we're not at the pump. You can grab a canister. Filling that up with a hundred. You shift and right click, so. Right click the car and press I. That fills up us up to 20%, so. We start. And of course, it says ready. Now this mod you can use it in like a town and stuff. It is pretty useful. You can pay you can charge people to fill up their cars. And nothing to worry about. Except for the pit of death. That's all that's the only thing you need to worry about is the pit of death. If you want to know how to build the Pit of Doom, it's a 3x3 three three gap. It can be any size, but it's got to be bigger than 2x2 two two or 1x1. One one. It can't be like something like this, or something like this. This. The sports car may fit in here, but for any other vehicle, it's this. And then the next thing we need to try out is the three cylinder engine. Car parts, three cylinder engine. Oak wood body. Or you know what? Actually, let's try it out in the SUV body. big wheels this time and then small tank because it's just a review but put the engine in put the car body in and smiley face add the tank and spawn car and this is what we get now SUVs they can go up one block. Oh yeah, that's the thing I have to tell you. Any car other than the SUV, the SUV can go up one block, but every other car, you need a ram. So, what's the three-cylinder engine sounds like this. As you see, the three cylinder engine makes you go the slowest. I think this is another way.
we gotta worry about the pit of death. But there is one more vehicle. It's the transporter. We're gonna do a purple transporter. Oh yeah, and about the wheels, only the SUV takes the big wheels. If you try to put a big wheel, and you know what, I'll even show you by putting like... Oh, you know what? Actually, you only need one wheel to show. Get a truck engine, of course. And a tank. It can be any size tank for any size car. But let's say we want to put on a big wheel. Too few wheels. Well, that is true, but wrong wheel type. You can see it right there. And you know, I'll make it where it only shows that. Wrong wheel type. Oh, yeah, and a thing to tell you? Too few wheels, because. This transporter requires six wheels. And spawn vehicle. This is what the transporter looks like. Pressing R. Vehicles can go for a very far distance, but we gotta worry about the bit of doom. Oh yeah, and the thing about these oil mills, you always have to get rid of the canola cakes. A way to dispose them is like any animal that eats like plant goods. We got two cows here in the video. But like. Game mode survival, and you can watch the canola cakes disappear out of my inventory. You can feed them to the baby cows. There we go, and that's how you dispose your canola. Or... You can just after Melanska stops dying. We throw it into the lava pit. It's here or that or we throw it into the pit of doom. Also as well me. And that's the official <laughs> Nothing else to Oh yeah, the repair kit. That can actually be put into the car's GUI to, to fix the car after it's been really damaged. 
And there's a way you use the dynamo if you have no generators. So let's say I disconnect the generators. We can see that this furnace has no energy, so we just connect up a dynamo. There's nothing in there. We just turn the crank, and that's what we get. You can keep turning the crank, but it's more efficient to use a generator, which can instantly. And I'm not even touching a thing. So, that's what the generator does. You gotta make sure you store the biodiesel in a tank. Feed it to the gas station or feed it to your biodiesel plant. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Leave a try to get this video to have a lot of likes and put in the comments if you want a part two or any other Minecraft video. If you want another mod review, please put that mod into the comments section. Please subscribe to Row Squad. Subscribe to Nathan the Best Dude 47. Subscribe to the awesome Roblox Pro. He doesn't make any videos. So I don't know what's the point. And that will wrap the video. Goodbye everyone.